Work continues on the redevelopment of the Franciscan Shrine of the Shepherd's Field. The goal, specific to the mission of the custody of the Holy Land, is to adapt the place to the needs of the local Christian community in the reception of pilgrims. In this context, last May the 22nd, Monsignor Marin Barisic, Archbishop Emeritus of Split Makarska, blessed the land and the start of construction work on the Croatian chapel dedicated to Saints Jerome and Nicholas Tavilic. The chapel is funded by the government of the Republic of Croatia. It was our desire to give a part of our heart to the people and to the pilgrims of, of all the world. You know that the first uh, Croatian saint is uh, Saint uh, Nikola Tavilic, who died 1391 in Holy Land. So we have a connection as a people, as Croatian people, with Holy Land. So really, we are very happy to, uh, to get the possibility to contribute to the Palestinian people, to custody of the Holy Land, to build a chapel. Proud to be Croat here in Holy Land. We continue to develop welcoming places for tourists coming from all over the world. Today we laid the cornerstone of the Croatian chapel to better welcome pilgrims from that land. This strengthens the role of tourism and reflects positively on our society and economic reality which have been greatly affected by the pandemic. The redevelopment project of the Shepherd's Field includes several phases. The first, which is almost completed, led to the construction of a reception point for pilgrims. The second, in progress, involves the construction of ten chapels to provide pilgrims with a space for prayer and meditation. It's not that we chose a country or a nation. Talking about the project, several commissioners, priests and pilgrims said from the beginning that they want to help. In the case of Spain, some architects and professionals made themselves available and made the first design. With the brothers from Croatia, there was a dialogue and they too said, we want to help. Then an Arab family heard about the initiative and said, we want to do something. And they will fund the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. The project receives both local and international financial support. Various entities from Poland, Brazil, Portugal and even Korea and the United States have offered material aid, but there is a need for additional financial effort. People can send donations. There is an open account for this project. They can write, contact the custody of the Holy Land, let them know they want to participate in this project and offer something. The third phase of the project involves creating spaces for spiritual activities for young people. Giving gives joy and happiness, and it is a special joy to give for this place where the angel announced to the shepherds the birth of Jesus. <laughs> 